2020 was this watershed epiphanal year for me in so many ways. It was the first time that a lot of us just had an opportunity to sit down and reflect on what things we were prioritizing, which things we could probably do without a bit more. And it wasn't until I was doing an online festival where I'd taken a small socially distanced group of musicians to city centers right across the length and breadth of Britain that I started to see things from a radically different perspective. City centers much like this one, once they're denuded of pedestrians, you see the walkways, the Union Jacks, the you know statues festooned from arches that really are a shorthand for the establishment. They're a sort of way of subcommunicating what power looks like, who's powerful and who's not powerful. And um, suddenly walkways that I'd, I'd been through, like Centenary Square where we are in Birmingham, since I'd been walking through since I was a kid, suddenly saw from a very different perspective. I'm, I'm really coming to the position after a couple of years of reflection that racism should be seen not just as interpersonal acts of cruelty, this bad person did a racism, but it, it's, it's more accurate to view it as a psychosis or a spell, something that we all sort of labor under invisibly. And much like any good spell, you don't know that you're under it until perhaps you're awakened from its influence. So that's where I'm at. What is the, again, cumulative effect of all of these symbols that could be considered as spells unless we awaken from it and, and see the world very differently? Yeah, if anything, I'm really excited about reperforming the piece in 2023 because for me, not only has the piece grown in relevance, but for me, 2020 was the watershed, the the landmark moment where I started to see things from a different perspective. And if anything, everything that's happened subsequently has just confirmed that we're in a strange, almost halfway point between imperial delusion, old religion and spells and stuff. And uh, I think if this country and in fact the world's going to move forward, it's important to call out what I think is white juju.